This young woman has an interesting history of headache and sinus symptoms uh, that have not responded to surgery. I have a history of migraines that I've had since high school. Um, they were, I think, associated with hormones and I would take Imitrix, they would go away. Over the past 10 years, I noticed I was getting a pain right in my right sinus, uh, right here. And um, I started uh, thinking that these were sinus headaches and a lot of times Sudafed would make them go away. I, I was taking um, other medicines to help with this sinus headache what I thought but in the past few years all of the medicine just didn't seem to work anymore and I was getting um, very s severe pain right in this area um, and you had a cat scan and then I had a, a cat scan and I thought well maybe they and, can and that did show something in the right cheek and you had an operation for that yes um, and was that successful and that was not successful and um, so now they... the sinus is open but your episodes and they seem uh, to be getting worse. And so you're yeah. having episodes that are th about three times a month and they last for three days. Yes. And sometimes they're throbbing. Yes. And it spreads from this area up over your head, you mentioned. Yes, and I know they're coming because I also get a little dizzy. Um, I notice when I'm driving, I'll be a little dizzy and they'll last for three, four days and no, and Imitrix doesn't work. Um, they're very, very painful and and your scans have been negative, so we don't. We know that there's no direct uh, cause of them. Yes. So we're now going to investigate uh, preventive medication for migraine uh, for these atypical headaches. Thank you for sharing your story with us. <laughs> Thank you.